Hello! This video is going to be an introduction to the recently finished uh, ML Course AI session and uh, at the same time we'll uh, discuss some uh, further steps uh, that you can take uh, when you've just covered uh, ML Course, uh, just some basic uh, course on machine learning. Yep, so uh, actually if you watched this video in 2019 or later, later still it can be relevant for you. Uh, if you just covered some uh, basic machine learning course, Andrew N NG, uh, Andrew N, sorry, or any other course. Uh, so uh, if you have nothing to do with ML course AI, just jump to the time slot uh, specified in the attached comment to this video, because still we are going to discuss some interesting things uh, relevant for you if you have some basic understanding of uh, machine learning. Okay, so ML course AI and uh, further steps when basic ML is covered. So first, some words about uh, ML course AI. So we actually started in spring 2017. Well, we just announced that we're going to write, write some papers, uh, some articles on Hubber.com, Russian IT community blogspot. So we actually expected just several guys sitting with laptops and uh, making our assignments. Uh, and uh, in the first session, actually, 520 people started with assignment one, about uh, 120 finished. Uh, so still it was sort of a massive open online course, so we needed to automate some things. Uh, and uh, then two years, almost two years passed, and the, the latest session in fall 2018 uh, was much larger, actually. So more than 7,000 people actually registered, but let's count uh, those who, who did assignment one. Uh, so now it was more than 2,000 and around 400 finished. At this map, you can see the geography. So still, uh, these are mostly Russian speaking guys, but at the same time, large hubs here are China, India, the US, and uh, we see that all Europe is covered, Latin America, some Australia. Okay, so this is currently a global course, and uh, we actually plan to further grow, and we actually uh, enjoy the fact that uh, this is going to, to be a really very, 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 very big uh, massive open online course. If you hear it for the first time, just go to the introduction uh, video in the very same channel, we discuss how this course is different from all others uh, on Coursera, edX, or elsewhere. Okay, so congratulations if you covered the latest session of mlcourse.ai. So it was really hard work, but let's discuss what you can do next. Uh, so the, the new session is going to start in February 2019. Uh, if you covered previous sessions, still you can join the new one because we are going to do much more competitions. Uh, so it, it will be Kaggle in class, but we can also prepare some uh, competitions of new type. Just stay tuned and follow uh, announcement on ML Course AI uh, website. Okay, second, you can dive into deep learning, and here. I would say the best course to take is uh, Stanford's Convolutional Neural Networks for Visual Recognition, CS231N. Well, it's Stanford, so it's a very cool course. Uh, they've got very nice lectures and assignments. Assignments are very, very challenging, but I would say this course is perfect for understanding the concept of neural nets and, and deep learning. So here I mention Andre Karpathy. Uh, he's currently director of AI at Tesla. Uh, so he uh, was a benevolent dictator for this course and the main creator back in 2016 or maybe earlier. Uh, okay, so now other Stanford guys catch up, uh, but still I would say that it's important to mention here Andre Karpathy and his uh, former scientific, scientific supervisor, Fai Fai Li. Okay, so if you go for deep learning after you've covered basic machine learning, uh, and you've got some concepts of uh, logistic regression and optimization and uh, everything that we covered in ML course AI. Uh, I would say this CS231N is uh, perfect for basic understanding of neural nets. So uh, they have this 
bottom-up approach where you first start with uh, coding simple algorithms with uh, just Python and NumPy only. So uh, actually you start only with KNN, so K, K nearest neighbors. Uh, you would say, wow, it's a, such a simple algorithm. But you see, uh, they ask you to implement a vectorized uh, version of KNN to make it efficient. And you see that you can spend some a couple of hours even for such a simple algorithm. Then you build uh, uh, softmax classifiers, so it's actually a logistic regression. Uh, then uh, SVM, then first neural nets. And so you are building this from scratch and it, it really helps you understanding all the underlying concepts. Uh, so typically there are three assignments in this course and uh, the third one uh, changes from year to year and it, it tries to follow the state of the art in, in deep learning. Some alternatives are fast.ai, uh, mainly uh, supported by Jeremy Howard. Uh, on the contrary, their approach is uh, from top to bottom. So they first start with just three lines of code, implementing uh, something some somewhat heavy neural net like ResNet 51 to, to classify cats and dogs. And then uh, basically you dive into code and then you understand what's going on. Uh, well, as a first course to actually form your understanding of neural nets, I would still recommend CS231N. And we decided to, to follow this, uh, this course in, in Slack to just to create a studying environment where we can uh, do these assignments and discuss all lectures. And uh, so if you've just finished mlcourse.ai, join Slack. Uh, so from uh, December uh, 24, 2018, we just start discussing CS231 and uh, all together. Uh, I think this is the third time we're going to do that. Uh, so if you're watching this video in 2019 or later, uh, well, still you can join this class and ask your questions about neural nets. Uh, no problem, you can even start the very same thing uh, after let's say, other, other sessions of ML course AI. Okay, then when you have first understanding of uh, machine learning, what you can do next, uh, you can dive into theory of ML. Uh, it's totally fine. Uh, as for me, I also like theory very much. I like this idea of understanding uh, the ground of all these approaches to actually try to do my best uh, understanding the theory behind these algorithms. Uh, if you would prefer a theoretic approach, uh, you can join uh, open data science uh, Slack channels, uh, educational books, and uh, uh, then when you've covered some books, uh, you can join Article Essence or go to Archive Sanity and start reading papers. Uh, so first, as for basic uh, books about machine learning, so the classic one is Pattern Recognition and Machine Learning by, by Bishop. Uh, another one uh, equally popular is uh, uh, Machine Learning from Pro Probabilistic Perspective by Murphy. Uh, these books are very heavy, uh, so honestly I didn't read them from cover to cover. To cover. Uh, so you would basically prefer to read some chapter that you are interested in. Well, the only book that I covered from scratch from cover to cover uh, is uh, Tom Mitchell machine learning. Well, it helps to form some concepts, but well, it's honestly, it's a bit outdated for now. Uh, so you'd, you'd better go to, to these books and uh, read them partially. Uh, then uh, if you joined uh, this deep learning course by Stanford, uh, at the same time, you can read uh, this uh, deep learning book by Goodfellow. Uh, and, and co-authors. Uh, well, uh, speaking about uh, English literature on deep learning, uh, I would say this is the, the best snapshot of state of the art at the time, at uh, 2017. So I can recommend uh, uh, also studying this book. For, uh, uh, for Russian speakers, uh, I would recommend another book that I covered from scratch, uh, from, sorry, from cover to cover. Uh, well, it's by uh, Nikolinka and uh, Kadurin and Arhangelska. It's uh, diving into the world of uh, neural nets. So it's very well written. Uh, it's not there in slide. 
uh, but uh, you can ask in, in comments. It's a very, very nice book on deep learning and uh, the main author is very good, basically, at Russian, at uh, writing and uh, his storytelling is sort of of journalistic style. So I highly, highly recommend it. I actually enjoyed it even more than the deep learning book. Uh, okay, this is about theory. Uh, if you would prefer more practice, uh, then join Kaggle Crackers channel in ODS Slack. And, uh, and of course AI the same, uh, uh, because we are also going to, to have more competitions in future. Well, Kaggle uh, has some pros and cons. It's a very hot topic uh, whether you would need to spend so much time on Kaggle. But uh, in the beginning of your data science career, it's, uh, it's very useful. So you can uh, actually learn a lot of hacks, a lot of best practices. Uh, following Kaggle forums and, and kernels, so it's really very, very good. Then if, if you are looking for a first job in data science, uh, you would, I would recommend to join the career channel. So there are lots of discussions there uh, about how to find the first job. Uh, so yeah, all these courses, it's uh, very nice and uh, practicing on Kaggle is also nice. But uh, of course for, for a career in data science, so uh, you would uh, likely find the first job uh, as fast as can as you can uh, because actually yeah getting this uh, hands-on experience uh, learning about production systems it's very very important and there is no substitute for real job if you'd like to learn all of that in this career channel uh, you can learn a lot about uh, other guys experience their stories how they find found uh, first job or how they changed jobs a lot of advices, uh, how to prepare for interviews, and so on. Well, uh, most of these channels are uh, Russian-speaking in this uh, ODS community. But still, uh, if you ask a question in English, no problem. Uh, everybody speaks English and they would respond to you. So to, to find this first job, you would prepare for interviews. And uh, at the same time, having a pet project is also very cool. So what you can also do next is uh, preparing a pet project. Uh, this is going to be some manifestation of your work, some, I would say, proof of work. As an example, I would show this uh, dig digit recogn uh, recognition project done by Andrew Lukanenka uh, in Slack, his art gore. Uh, well, this is a pretty simple application uh, just from uh, so, so suppose you are just uh, studying how neural nets are, uh, actually classify images and you first train your neural net to, to do image classification on MNIST, the very, very simple data set. So the next step is actually uh, you can try and build sort of a production system around this algorithm. Uh, so this guy, Andrew, uh, created a Heroku app uh, this ap nice application where you can draw a digit and then you can run some neural nets to, to make a prediction. And at the same time, uh, it's really wise to, to collect labels from, from Fox. So asking whether the prediction was correct or no. In this way, you can uh, collect uh, new correct or incorrect labels. You can think of validation of these labels. You can increase your data set starting maybe even from scratch. And then uh, here you, you can also see model performance. Uh, so the guy also experimented with different types of uh, state-of-the-art uh, neural nets for this task. Uh, so, well, it's already much more than just uh, having a machine learning course or even uh, a course in neural nets like CS231N. Uh, I would also recommend to, to write an article about your achievements, so describing all, all your work. So Andrew created an article on Hubber in Russian, but still it can be Medium, it can be uh, even a, a Git pages post or, or your own blog, blog post. It can be anything. It's uh, really nice to just uh, cover all this way from, from scratch, from some simple ideas to sort of a production system or uh, just some working, uh, some, some, some working uh, program and it's also very nice to describe all your steps 
uh, it's systematic. Actually, it, it's it's very good for systematization of what you, what you you've actually done, and it's also nice to express your ideas. So let's say if you are searching for for a job, uh, your future interviewers would see that you you can describe your ideas is ni in nice words. You can actually create something working from scratch. These are all very very valuable skills. So pet projects, I would say, they are often underestimated, but it's really a very, very uh, nice thing to do. Well, then finally you can support mlcourse.ai. So just tell your story and spread the word on uh, Kaggle forum. Uh, here's an example of one of the reviews. Well, I really enjoy uh, reading such stories. So the guy finished, uh, finished this course and then it helped him to, to actually change his career, to go uh, and find a position of a big data analyst in a telecom company. So in Russia, it's uh, one of the three largest telecom companies. Well, I really enjoy uh, having such a feedback that uh, what we do is very valuable uh, for people, can help them change their career. Uh, so it's, uh, as you see, there is a lot of math in the course. And uh, well, as for me, I enjoy math very, very much, especially applied math. So the course is very cool just for you to uh, to train your brains uh, to un understand something better but at the same time as we can see it can really help uh, in building your career and that's why I'm, I'm not hum humbled actually to remind you to make a donation so we've got a Patreon and uh, uh, Ko-Fi so depending on whether you, you would like to support monthly or make a one-time uh, donation well uh, as for me personally preparing this course takes about one fourth of all my time, so about 15 hours uh, per week. Well, uh, it would be really nice if we, we've got some feedback, not only in words, uh, but also in money, to be honest. Um, so you can choose a monthly support or Ko-Fi, just a one-time, very uh, easy support. We would really appreciate it. Uh, at the same time, you can tell your story and spread it in Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, anywhere, just to uh, if you've covered the course and uh, maybe you are convinced that this is the best uh, machine learning course from practical side, uh, well, if you are convinced in that, just tell your friends, spread the word, uh, help us grow further. And of course, thanks to all the ML Course AI team. So some faces are here on this slide, but uh, overall, more than a hundred uh, guys already participated in the creation of this course. And uh, for all of you, Okay, see you all, see you in class uh, CS231N. Uh, so the next step for most of you will be diving into this magnificent world of uh, neural nets. So I really encourage you to, to first have a good sleep after this course because it was really tough. And then uh, in New Year, just uh, go and dive into this CS231N. Uh, you actually don't need a lot of background there, so if you've covered mlcourse.ai, it's totally fine. But be ready for actually for hard work. Assignments are really meaty, really challenging. Uh, but uh, in the process, you, you'll be uncovering these all mysteries of neural nets, so de demystifying this magnificent world of neural nets. I think it's worth it. And that's it. Okay, so good luck to all of you. It was nice, actually teaching you in this uh, ml course.ai and uh, i'm not saying farewell so see you see you in cs231n yep good luck